Hello, welcome back to Blender Station Live. In this episode, I'm experimenting in creating like a 360 landscape or skybox using AI. All right, so uh, the first one that actually might actually work uh, is using uh, the Dream Texture add-on. Uh, Dream Texture add-on. And by default, if you install this and you are in the image editor, you can try prompting something uh, by default you can actually make like a seamless um, image in X and Y direction currently I'm using anything 3.0 model and this is usually for anime kind of creations my prompt is super simple cyberpunk landscape Tokyo night neon light okay so I repeat cyberpunk but yeah we can try anything uh, maybe neon sign and make a robo yeah let's try that and for the negative I get rid of cartoony worst quality blur the size is actually important I make the size more like a panoramic instead of instead of like a square size um, but we could expect that it's gonna be seamless on the x-axis on the left and the right and yeah when it's running it's gonna take maybe 30 seconds 60 seconds this might work I haven't tried it with other models but it should work on the left and the right the top part you might need to do like uh, fixings with the seamless on the top part um, there's a quicker way actually this is like uh, by Bern Kornmuller it's very actually he is also a really good cool 3d artist and he also made like 360 panorama but this one is using AI uh, as you can see this is like a like a Harry Potter Harry Potter city somewhere but also in the galaxy far far away Okay, so there's like a Final Fantasy kind of city. Uh, it's kind of really cool corner. Maybe it's somewhere in London as well. And he made another one. Okay, uh, this one. Where is this? Like, looks like in Venice, but also in Harry Potter world. Uh, this one, he with this one, he actually made made it using Skybox from BlockadeLabs.com. Um, yeah, you can see this like landscape. It could be in Australia or Africa somewhere out there, Arizona. You can try dreaming up your world. Um, there's all kind of different setup that you can choose. Um, which one? You can try surreal, but you just need to have some kind of imagination what you want to create. Maybe like a environment rubble caves wires um, alien creatures plants just create something okay this one will do the job for you you don't need to do anything it has the model um, Maybe this also use a different models if you try a different one. And once it's actually creating something, you can download it. Um, yeah, it takes a few seconds only. Now we are inside like a like a video game world avatar. We oh yeah, I can actually zoom in. And if you're happy, you can just download this. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay, at the moment I think it's. It's free and it's, it's pretty amazing. This is kind of skybox that I want to create here. I mean, in this case, it's not really a skybox. I can save this, but you can perhaps use this. If we say ultra wide, maybe it will create something a little bit better. Tokyo night. Let's give all. Cyberpunk. 
Yes, I, if I write down Kowloon and New York, what's going to happen? But anyhow, if you created uh, something yeah, like Surreal, so you're going to have this equi rectangular environment that you can use inside Blender or video game engine. Here's another one. This one in Tokyo. Cyberpunk, lots of mecha looking cars and robots. It's very cool. This is another one also. Tokyo, neon lights, neon signs. It looks a bit a little bit like Tokyo, but like video games kind of Tokyo. I if we just use like a normal one without if it's not making panorama, this one is using using Leonardo AI. So it's the same prompt, but you can see it's a, it's just like a panorama. It's it's not 360. This one actually made 360, and I'm trying to make the same thing inside Blender. Perhaps it's not it's not as simple as that. Yeah, there there might be an add-on or like a GitHub that already does this, the job. Maybe this one is only good for texture, but this is. This is a this is a step anyway. It's a, we want to be seamless on the X and the Y at least. The top part, okay, not so, not so great. Maybe we should pull out a little bit more until it looks like more like ultra wide or fish eye. Fish eye. Try that. It's not gonna work, but but here we can try. Surreal interior views. Maybe your dream house if you're inside a box. Uh, maybe like a modern luxury, ultra luxury house full of uh, expensive furniture. Painting, classic painting, interior views. Yeah, you can try that. This one's still dreaming up. In the meantime, because you're inside Blender, you can maybe change your world here. I haven't used this for a while. Okay, environment texture open. It means acquiring rectangular image. Let's try. Oh, okay. It's we get something that's kind of interesting. Uh, how about this? Yep. We have the environment. Suzanne, Suzanne Totem at the center, down there, you're gonna cover it up with actual environment. The 360, okay, 360 environment is always interesting. If you have an, an, an anchor, anyway, you can, you can perhaps uh, put someone in the middle. Try to think of my character. Let's see. Okay, I have this guy over here. Yeah. Yeah, I created using Leonardo AI as well. So just a character like looks like a like a chubby character, kind of mix with with a. I think I use a monkey, like a monkey, but non-human. So it's a it's a new character. But if the character is an anchor, you know, like a like an avatar in the center of environment, and he can talk, and while the camera can look look around the character, so I thought that might be interesting. Yeah, 
Okay, in this case, the light is not HDR. The, so we need to just lift the character somehow. So it's convincing. At the moment, it's too bright. But it's like, it's a little bit like anchor, like weather anchor on the TV with the, with the weather behind it. So the character standing there and talking, maybe even just a head, talking head, that can looks around 360. It's like, that's pretty much, almost pretty much it. I mean, if you, you cannot walk around, it's not like a, like a YouTuber doing its talk goes around in the in the world and it's a little bit like that maybe it's yeah it's almost like a vtuber as well vtuber is in 3d environment but in this case we just have like a basic 360 environment oh yeah i have my luxury apartment Let's unlock this. so if you're there's like a youtuber that's actually selling like a luxury apartment in Tokyo and he's also using YouTube so he can walk around the apartment and do its talk and that's also kind of like a little bit like marketing but also a little bit entertaining it's depending on the, the anchor so I thought okay this is kind of pretty cool ideas I mean it's a flat guy at the moment this guy needs to be an avatar talking avatar explaining what's going on this is like a, kind of weird so yeah i think this you can give this a try yourself i'll give you the link it's pretty pretty easy just type in the prompt we should do one more time uh we can use lexica lexica art environment Think of environment. Maybe you want something. Oh, underwater. Add this. Copy from. Paste it here. Make sure you use the right model. Surreal style fantasy. Generate. Wait a few seconds if you're lucky. If you if it's taking too long, maybe a lot of people are using it at this very second. Maybe there's gonna be a paid version of this. This is this is Leonardo AI. I've been using this. It's it's a it's not like Mid Journey. Someone says it's a little bit like Mid Journey. Mid Journey is a little bit different. It's so much higher quality. But this one kind of like a a little bit toward that way. You can use Leonardo style. Usually it's gonna increase the quality. Ah, okay, this one's finished. Yeah, it's not exactly underwater, but still kind of nice. Yeah, because it's 360 this and every everything around it needs to be 3D, converted into 3D somehow. So this guy, this chubby guy can now jump into underwater scenes. He can be over there. I don't know. This okay. This is flat. We need a proper way, the easiest way to set up an environment. You have to build it up basically. Yeah, but if you have it like in three D, in video game engines, then you know it's a. It's gonna be fun. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna, I, I'm just showing you this tools, Skybox tool. Um, I want to have Skybox tools inside Blender as an, as an add-on. At the moment, all we have is this, which is not too bad. Dream Texture, it's still a work in progress, a lot of bugs, but yeah, lots of f missing features as well. But it's, it's all gonna be there anyway. Um, yeah, just dream up. An environment that you can think of you know you might get inspirations from lexica some kind of zen woods but you can use it at the moment you can use this download the equi rectangular 
environment and then use it inside Blender or 3D game engine like Godot or Unity or Unreal. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.